Hi, welcome back to Look Closer. Today we're going to continue our series on wild carnivorous plants and we're going to check out the aquatic yellow bladderwort and take a closer look at one of the most complex and fastest plant structures on the planet. Okay, well today's species is Utricularia australis, the yellow bladderwort. Even though you may have seen it before, you probably haven't realised that it's a carnivorous plant because until you get up really close to see the carnivorous structures, it looks like any other bit of pond slime. But before we look closer at this plant, let's have a look at where we are. We're in Perth, Western Australia, fairly close to the city centre. We're at one of the largest remnant wetlands in Perth, Herdsman Lake. This spot is well known by Western Australian bird watchers as an inner city haven for water birds and one of the best spots to see tiger snakes in Perth, if that's your thing. It's also the only spot in Perth that you'll find Utricularia australis. So we're going to wander out along this boardwalk and see if we can't find this plant. Alright, well here we are, I've seen a couple of ducks, heard a tiger snake, didn't see him, and here's our Utricularia australis. Hopefully you can see it, it's just below the water over here, I'll point it out. So while most of the bladderwort plant is actually quite simple, it's those bladders that give it its name, the traps that it catches prey with, that are the really complex part I was talking about. So the traps on bladderworts actually work quite differently to other carnivorous plants. They actually have three parts, so there's the ball, the door and the hairs, and they all work together to make this really cool little trap. First the ball. The ball is quite rigid and springy and it's where the prey is held and eventually digested. Next part is the door. The door opens inwards and has a very soft seal around the edges so that it makes a perfect seal and the plant secretes like a little bit of mucus to make it a perfect seal. Now finally the hairs. The hairs are like the trigger or the door handle and it's what unlocks the door to let the prey inside. But how do we convince the prey to get into the trap? It's not just going to wander in there and be digested by itself, is it? And this is where Utricularia is really cool. This plant has active traps. So when the door is sealed shut, the plant is able to pump water out of it through its cells, which makes a negative pressure inside the ball. All this tension is stored in the springy walls of the ball. Now when some little creature swims past and touches the trigger hair, it will bend the door frame just enough to break the soft seal. And this is like unlocking the door. And once it's unlocked, the walls spring outward and the negative pressure inside the ball sucks the water just outside the door and hopefully the prey item inside. And that whole process happens so quickly that we can't even see it. It takes about one hundredth of a second between triggering the trap door and the door closing again behind the prey. And this trap is actually considered one of the most complex structures in the entire plant kingdom. Pretty cool for something that sits at the bottom of a swamp. Okay, well that is the basic layout of a common bladderwort plant. But like so many things, we have a ton of unusual, endemic and weird bladderworts here in Western Australia. And over the course of the year, I hope to show you a few more of those. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.